Hi guys, Weintuber here and in today's video I'm gonna talk about Sand MEO appellations and strongly focus about the differences in between Sand MEO Grand Cru and Sand MEO Grand Cru Classe, including the differences in taste in between both wines. So make sure you watch this video until the end. Before we start, many thanks to Jean-Francois from Chateau de Pressac and the Corkscrew Wine and Spirit Merchants for helping me with this video. And if you're watching my channel for the first time, please consider to subscribe! saint Emilio is an appellation in the name of the small town at the same time. saint Emilio is located on the right bank of the Bordeaux region, 35 km east from the beautiful town of Bordeaux. Fun fact, did you know that in December 99, vineyards and eight villages of San Emilio were listed on UNESCO World Heritage Site? I highly recommend to visit San Emilio village because it's absolutely beautiful. It's good to know that there are four San Emilio satellite appellations called Lusac San Emilio, Montagne saint emilion Puisega saint emilion and saint georges saint emilion All of them are located in the north part of the saint emilion region. Did you know that only red wines can be produced within the saint emilion appellations? However, some amazing white wines are also produced in the area, but those wines can be only labeled as a generic Bordeaux AOC, like, for example, Le Petit Cheval, which is produced from the Sauvignon Blanc grapes. Speaking of the grape varieties, did you know that there are six grapes permitted in saint emilion appellations? The main one, approximately 60% of the whole plantings, is Merlot. The second grape variety is Cabernet Franc, approximately 30% and less than 10% of Cabernet Sauvignon. There are also Petit Verdot, Malbec, yes, the same Malbec that is also permitted in Cajor area or you can find in Argentina. And finally, the last six grape variety is Carmenere, the second most planted variety in Chile. Appellation San Emilion was established in 1936. In 1954, there were three new Grand Cru appellations added. And one year after, in June 1955, the new classification of San Emilion was published. So there is five different levels in San Emilion classification. On the bottom of the pyramid, we have generic San Emilion. The next level is San Emilion Grand Cru, followed by San Emilion Grand Cru Classe, then Premier Grand Cru Classe and finally on the top of the pyramid is the Premier Grand Cru Classe A which is the most prestigious appellation in saint Emilion region. Wines labeled as saint Emilion need to follow rules such as the vineyard needs to be within the saint Emilion area. Only six grapes are permitted the maximum yield is roughly 50 hectoliters per hectare. Grapes can be purchased from the local growers, meaning that some generic Saint Emilio wines are not a state wine. And finally, wines going through some basic quality control. Rules for Saint Emilio Grand Cru wines are more strict compared to generic Saint Emilio. For example, yields need to be more or less 10% lower. Same six grapes varieties are permitted. Wines are vinified and bottled at the state, which is a massive difference. Wines need to be aged for 80 months before bottling. And finally, quality control is definitely more severe. San Emilio Grand Cru Classe is a completely different level, as the classification can be easily compared with the Michelin Star Awards. The rules at the Grand Cru Classe levels are really, really high. Each estate is going through the blind tasting panel to prove the quality of the wines for the last 10 years and 15 years for Premier Grand Cru Classe. 43 wine experts tasted 1,043 samples in between December 2021 
and April 2022. Another criteria is the reputation of the estate of the Martin, including press reviews, then quality of the winery and the terroir, and finally methods of the wine growing and management at the vineyards. All these elements make up the final result, which is the maximum score, it's 20 points. To be classified as a Grand Cru cluster, the minimum score is 14 points, which is 50% is the tasting, 20% is the reputation, 20% is also winery and terroir, and finally 10% wine growing. To be classified as a Premier Grand Cru Classé, the minimum score is 16 points, which is 50% is the tasting, 35% is the reputation, 10% winery and terroir, and finally, 5% is the wine growing. Before I show you the difference in taste between Saint Emilion Grand Cru and Grand Cru Classé, I would like to let you know that three fantastic estates, Chateau Somme, Chateau Angelus, and Chateau Cheval Blanc, decide to withdraw with the 2022 classification, meaning that those three estates are no longer classified estate. And all these chateaus are absolutely amazing and very, very expensive. I have to say that the difference between Saint Emilion Grand Cru and Grand Cru Classe on the palate is absolutely massive. On the nose, there's lots of similarity, especially black fruits, some earthy tones, and also forest fruit. But on the palate, Grand Cru Classe is unbeatable. It's elegant, silky concentrate the concentration the grand cru wine is absolutely incredible what a wine but at the same time generic grand cru is also fantastic value for money and a great example of bordeaux wines in terms of scores chateau tour de pressac saint emilion grand cru get 91 points and chateau de pressac saint emilion grand cru classe get 95 points the difference is definitely there The 2022 classification is the seven since the first in 1955. 71 estate, including Chateau de Bressac, was classified as a Grand Cru Classé, which is now in my glass, by the way. 12 estate was classified as a Premier Grand Cru Classé, and only two, Chateau Fijac and Chateau Pavie, was classified as a Premier Grand Cru Classe A. As I mentioned before, saint Emilion classification can be easy compared to Michelin Guide. For me, every wine that is labeled as a saint Emilion Grand Cru, it's a beep. Every wine that is labeled as a saint Emilion Grand Cru Classe is a one Michelin star estate. Every wine that is labeled as a Premier Grand Cru Classe is a two Michelin star estate. And finally, only two Three Michelin star estates are available on the market, which is Chateau Pavie and Chateau Fijac. It's good to know that each star can be held for each estate only for 10 years, as the San Emilio classification is review every 10 years. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and now you know the differences between San Emilio Grand Cru and Grand Cru Classe. Please know that the classification of San Emilion does not concern only wine, but the estate. So, thanks again for watching, don't forget to subscribe and see you next time!